What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. I'm going to keep the intro very short and brief. I'll explain kind of what's going on and then I have a question for you guys at the end. Maybe you can help me out. Right now, we're going to look at some snap together footage from still positions, cut together to make it look nice and pretty. Then I have some footage just running on the course where it looks chaotic. And then I kind of redid my course, put together a semi-coherent run where I moved some rocks around, made some obstacles, ran it one way, and then ran it back. Stick around to the end so you can see the details on the truck. If you have questions about what it is, the parts, etc., I'll try and explain most of that. See you guys at the end.
Alright guys, if you stuck around this long to the end of the video, you must be curious about the truck, or you jumped right to it. Either way, it's all good. We're here for the fun. This is an SCX24. The frame has been cut, chopped. This is actually my oldest SCX24 that I have. It's gone through a lot of different variations, iterations of builds, whatever you want to know about it. I'm here to answer in the comments. I'll try and go over some of the info I think people might ask about. Um, but for the most part, it is a brushed conversion. This is a Surpass motor, uh, Surpass C2204, 1400 kV. It's a drone motor, I believe. Um, this is a 3D printed uh, mount I got off eBay. I don't have a link for it. I have no idea where I got it or how long ago I've had it forever. Um, you could see the pinion and spur and stuff in there just kind of exposed it's a weird mount but it works um like i said i got it on ebay this was back before fury tech was even a thing um we used to have to do brushless conversions with these drone motors um they work pretty good got a fury tech tegu board i've had lizard pros in here i've ran it brushed i mean it's gone through a bunch of conversions dumbo rc x6f receiver and that's the receiver and transmitter combo I use. I really like these. Um, they might look kind of cheap on camera, but they're pretty well made. Um, some good heft to them. A lot of different controls. I like the grip because I can one-hand drive. That's what you saw in all the footage. Today was one-handed driving. Battery I'm running is Ergenix. 900 milliamp hour, 30C discharge. It's a big old battery, and I've just got some Velcro. Right here, it mounts pretty much perfectly between the rear and the Tegu board. Fits nice for all the bodies I have for this thing. This looks like a disaster. It's melted, hot glued, painted, remelted. <laughs> I've got three magnets here, two in the top. This is a, uh, this mount back here, these posts are Iceberg RC, I believe. I've broken them before and then glued them back together. They're just 3D printed, but they hold up pretty well and gluing them back together has always worked. I've got an Emacs servo, and this is where my questions lie. So this Emacs servo I've had for a long time. Um, I don't know if it's going out. I don't know if you saw in the footage where it's very twitchy steering. I'll actually turn it on and we can test it out real quick. This is just bonus footage at the end of the video anyways. If you're not into technical stuff, you can pretty much stop watching now if you'd like. <laughs> so, the steering is fairly slow, but I think standard for Emacs, maybe it's going a little slower, but um, the steering works just fine. Um, but when I'm under power, of course it's gonna work now. If there's any pressure while under power, it seems to like not wanna work, but now I'm just making things up apparently. I don't know why, but you saw in the footage, it's like occasionally it just won't turn and you'll go normal crawling speed. Never fails. When you're having problems, you try and get them on camera to diagnose. It's not going to work. <laughs> <coughs> Seems, to <coughs> <coughs> Seems to be working just fine. Sorry. Uh, Seems to be working just fine now. I don't know what the problem was when I was outside. Maybe it's cold out. Maybe I just needed to knock something loose, but it seems to be working just fine now. I don't know. I guess I'm not really having problems. Eh, maybe it'll act up later, but if any of you have had that where it seems to be twitchy or sometimes doesn't respond and then does respond, I don't know. Let me know if you've had that issue because I'm sure it'll act up again when I'm done filming. Um, oh yeah, parts. These are Baja Pro X Mickey Thompson's by Proline, I believe, makes these. Uh, the tires, that is. The wheels are, I believe they're called Black Rhinos or just Rhino. Um, I don't even know if you can get them anymore. They are really, really cool. And I actually got the this set from Crawler Baller. 
Uh, he traded me for a set of wheels and tires I had way back when, when I went to his his compound and did some crawling competitions. If you're interested, I'll try and remember to put a link to those in the description, but doubt it. Uh, <laughs> it's got a treel chassis weight. It does have metal axles. These are like some non-name brand metal axles, but they work. High clearance links. It's pretty much all just hot racing stuff. It's a hot racing skid plate. Um, quite a bit of metal. The shocks are standard length hot racing shocks. They are mounted at an angle just to get a little more articulation out of them. I mean, this thing has pretty good flex for how heavy it is. And like I was saying, it's magnet mount for all these bodies. So I've got the Jeep and the magnets are nice and strong. I've got the Ford Explorer Jurassic Park rig, which I don't think is going to mount correctly because I have to lift the front magnets up to make them line up. But it sits like that, also magnet mount. And then I have the standard Ford Explorer as well. The two Explorers have interiors in them, or semi-interiors. They got a dash and some seats, so they're a little finicky to get on, but they connect just like the Jeep. I decided not to go with an interior in the Jeep this time. It's just a little easier to drive this way. The tires do rub a bit. Um, I already trimmed them up slightly. Might need to trim up the rear as well. When they're uh, flexing, they kind of hit. But yeah, that's pretty much this truck in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. These are metal drive shafts too. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. I try and get back to people. I check the comments like, I don't know, every other day. And uh, I'll respond. Happy to answer any questions anyone has. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Footage was fun. It's been a while. I'm going to try and start uploading more when I get free time. But other than that, have a great day. Peace, y'all.